Hi guys, welcome to Earth to Rosita. So, in today's video, I just wanted to make like a very quick update about what is happening in the cosmos. So, I was actually talking to my uh, best friend about this uh, like yesterday, and we were talking about why we're always like feeling sleepy and why we're always feeling like unmotivated and always feeling like we want to go to um, we want to like live in a fantasy or something like that. And we also were talking about why we are feeling so like bogged down and sad. And I was, and she asked me to look at the astrology of things, and I did that. And what I found was very interesting because I found out that all of, I think, from the beginning of May, like no, from mid-May, um, Mars has been in Pisces. And it really got me to think it got me to thinking about how I was feeling during March. And March, obviously, it is um, Pisces season. But at the same time, Mercury was in Pisces. So my mind was very, like, in a, in a very philosophical dream state type of place. And then um, in mid-May... Like, I think May 14th, 15th, or something like that, Mars moved into Pisces. Now, okay, let me just break, before I get into any more, let me break these planets down. Mars is the physical body. It is, like in astrology, it's the physical body. It is about the drive. It's something to do with sex as well. Um, but more about just, like, literally your physical being. Um, and Mercury is about the mind, communication, how you speak, how you process information. And obviously, because if if it's if Mercury is in Pisces, you're going to be very feeling very intuitive, feeling very, feeling very emotional, feeling a little bit dreamy, depending on what else you have in your chart, especially. Um, but once Mars is in Pisces, that is going to affect everybody in a heightened way. I'm pretty sure. Because even people that have a lot of air and fire in their chart have been feeling this kind of, like, weighed downness. This kind of, like, they're taking in um, the energy of the world, which is kind of just very low at the moment. Um, it's kind of, like, we're forced to feel all of the feelings right now because Mars was in Pisces. Now, I read on Twitter um, that Mars is moving into Aries right at the dot of 12 a.m. on the 29th of June, 2020. And then it's not going to leave until, like, the, I think that the tweet said the beginning of January next year. I checked if that is true about when Mars is moving into Aries. And it is true. It's moving into Aries at 12 a.m. tonight, Australian time. Um, so that is very interesting that it's going to, like, be in this energy. We're going to be in this energy for, like, I don't know, six to five months. Um, <laughs> Mars is going to be in the element of Aries, which is Martian energy to begin with. So given everything that's happened this year, like the fact that Mars was in Pisces, Mars, a very kind of like action oriented, um, masculine energy, and then going into Pisces, breaking the illusions. I think that that translates... Mars being in Pisces translates to breaking your illusions. Very interesting. Very interesting. But, um... The fact that Mars is going to be in Pisces... Uh, Mars is going to be in Aries for, like, until January next year. Um, I think that what we have to be prepared for and expect, in fact, is the fact that there's going to be some very warish, warlike energy, like warrior-like energy going on. 
people are going to be very angry. A lot of truth is going to come out. Um, a lot of change is going to come about. Um, and nothing is going to be the same in our world, according to astrology. I don't know for certain. Um, I already have some ideas as a psychic. You don't, you probably don't believe in psychics and stuff, but I have had some things come to my mind. Um, but yeah, the world is in for a bit of a change. Uh, and I'm kind of excited about it. Maybe it's my foolish optimism run by Venus and Sagittarius, but um, I don't think that we're going to go back to normal. <laughs> That's all I can say. And Okay, I gotta call myself out on what I just said, because I, I just brought up being psychic. Like, <laughs> like, if you have two eyes and you're like paying attention to what's going on in the world, I don't think you have to be psychic to like... Um... <laughs> know that nothing is going to go back to normal um unless you're completely oblivious to the world like it terrifies me for the people that are completely oblivious to the world and what's going on right now because they they people like that do exist right now people are literally chilling people there are people out there who have no idea what's going on and what's to come they're wor they're worried about like work and <laughs> their future. Like their future is not gonna look. <laughs> okay, I think I'll just leave it at that. Um, like this video if you like this video if you enjoyed um my content. Oh my god, there's a cute dog outside. Um, subscribe if you enjoy vlogs like this or just like spiritual topics being discussed and. Um, astrology and so on and so forth and um, have a lovely day or night. G bye guys! <laughs>